What's up, Flo? Hey, yo, bro, hurry up, man. You're late. One sec, bro. I'm coming. Chill. I'm coming. One sec, man. For goodness sake, man. Bro, no one cares if you're folding your... Just, oh, my... Just hurry up, hurry up, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna kill this guy. I'm gonna slap him, I'm gonna slap him. I'm gonna slap him. Yeah, I might have to. What the hell is this guy doing? Bro, let's go, man. We ain't got all day. Chill, man. I'm coming. What's wrong with you? I'm always on my case. I'm just trying to get ready to hoop. What Flo want to do? It's talk. It's not fair. Okay, baby. What's on my gut in case? Bro, you okay? No. I feel different. I don't know why. But don't worry about it. Let's just get into this workout, bro. Let's go. A four to shoot. Harden shaking big. Steps back. Three pointer. Back away by Harden. There's good defense from Harden. He's got one man to throw side steps and puts it in. James Harden. Yo. What a gorgeous move. Well, he's full. Great. He's a hell of a buff. Yeah? All right, then. Let me get mines. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yo, what's up YouTube? This is Pure Kicks back with another performance review. And today we're talking about the Adidas Harden Volume 2. Let's get it. First and foremost, big shout out to the guys over at Pro Direct Basketball for sending these over. Oh my gosh, Timmy, what an incredible shoe. Don't want to talk too much right now. True. Because obviously we're about to get into the performance review. Shouts out to you guys, we really appreciate it. And also thank you for inviting us over um, for the unveiling of the Harden Volume 2s as well. That video is also on our channel, so if you want to see how that event went down, make sure you check out that video, because it's a very dope event. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So before we get into sharing our opinions about the shoe, Pure Kicks is introducing a brand new rating system for all of our performance reviews. So for each different aspect of the shoe, including aesthetics, cushioning, materials, fit, support, and traction, each will get a score out of 10. Then at the end of each video, we'll give you an average score and give you the overall score of that shoe. In doing so, it will then go into our leaderboard, which will give you a list of all of our performance reviews of the year, so you guys can know which shoe is the best, quite frankly. So that's enough talking, let's get into the performance of the shoe. First and foremost, Aesthetically to me, yep. this shoe is buff. It is. It's not a screamer. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a screamer. Yeah, okay. Um, when I first saw the shoe, the shoe looks much better in hand much better in, in person hand. Yep. than it does through the leaked images, first of all. That's Aesthetically, cool. the only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is the heel counter. Mm -hmm. It looks like the shoe is leaning forward a little bit, but <laughs> on feet, I feel sexy, bro. And yeah? Yeah, the, the shoe looks good. Just looking down at my feet, the shoe is beautiful. Would you give it out of 10 though? I think I'd give it a humble seven. Humble seven? A humble I agree. seven. I agree. Humble seven. seven. I think I think it's a it's a good it's a good looking shoe. Yeah. But it's not a screamer. A screamer would be like an eight. Yeah. Eight, upwards. eight nine. Eight ten. nines, yeah. Eleven maybe. <laughs> but yeah, seven out of ten. Next up we have the Mitsu cushioning of the Harden Volume 2s. And I don't know why I'm surprised that the cushion is my favourite aspect of the shoe. I've cushion is ten out of ten. Ten out of ten cushion really. Boost, you've done it once again. I don't know how you can hate on Boost. If you hate on Boost, then True. you're, I guess you're a hater. Um, Facts. Boost is incredible, people. It is fantastic. It is something else. It gives you everything you need in a basketball sneaker. Impact protection, 
you're good. Court feel, you're good. And surprising with this as well, the boost is a lot thicker than the Hardened Volume 1. And we were scared because we thought, man, we probably won't get as much court feel. But yeah. as soon as we tried them on, that was out the window. <laughs> Straight out the window. Court feel is there and in abundance. Boost is life. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Say no more. Say less, say no more. It's done. Moving on then. Moving on. So moving on to our next favorite part of the shoe, the support. And we just spoke about the boost. Down here you've kind of got this rubber material which helps stabilize the boost and acts as an outrigger as well. And does both of those things fantastically well. Like a charm. Like an absolute charm. Yeah. So big shout outs to you. The internal hill counter, which you can find obviously back here, helps the hill keep locked in, which is its job. So again, more charms for you. Interchangeable adaptive lacing system, which again, we've seen in a few of the Adidas shoes as well really works change it however you feel best whichever fits best which again helps with supporting the foot it's elastic band across the foot which again helps with that fit and holding your foot in place and of course this internal booty which helps the shoe fit like an absolute glove which again holds the foot in place to ensure you're supported from every which move especially when you're getting in your bag like harden does yeah. so what can we really say there's a system going on in this yeah, shoe literally. for sure out of 10 what do you think the shoe the support of the shoe is it's up there it's up there uh i'm gonna give it an eight an for eight? sure a strong eight strong, yeah strong I'm, strong I'm, eight. I'm gonna agree with you so next up we're talking about the materials of the shoe a really strong part of the shoe yep. probably we definitely enjoy it and a big difference of the shoe when we're talking volume one to volume two starting out of the forefoot we've got that forged fiber back to that tpu lining which keeps it light keeps it flexible and the tpu helps with structure back here we've kind of got this material this synthetic material for the lacing system which again is all about holding the foot in place and again does the job along with the neoprene on the inside of the sock liner uh, the sock like fit sorry which again makes it flexible makes it easy to put on and just holds the foot really well. So some really nice materials all over the shoe. I mean, from the leaked images, at first I thought this was a prime lit material, yeah. but you can really see that Adidas has focused more on the performance aspect of the Harden 2, rather than the casual lifestyle aspect. I like the materials of the shoe, bro. Yeah. I like it especially because it's straight out the box. You can play it straight out the box. Minimal break and times required. So yeah. the materials are really, really nice. The materials are light and flexible as well. With all that being said, the materials comes in at a very strong eight. Yeah. Again, similar to the support, a system of different types of aspects all coming together to make sure the shoe does its job. So materials gets a very, very strong air, for yeah. sure. Moving on to the traction of the Harden Volume 2s, what we have is this earth shattering slash spider web traction pattern, which I was really skeptical um, as to how it perform at first. The grooves aren't deep mm. and the rubber is really different to what we've had in the past. As soon as I played these on court, all that skepticism was out the window. There is some inconsistencies with the traction. When you play on really dusty courts, the traction will catch dust like instantly. I don't know what the rubber is, but it's a, it, it collects it. It collects dust, almost like a vacuum cleaner, bro. Like a vacuum cleaner, yeah. It's like a dust collector. Like a dust collector. People out here, apparently it's a thing, it's a hobby to collect dust. Yeah. Which is weird. Moving on, you can actually see from this clip now that how much dust the shoe collects. As soon as you rub the dust off, you're fine. You really reap the benefits of this traction pattern when you play on a really, really clean court. Then you'll understand why the traction is the way it is. The pods being larger around the certain aspects of the shoe, i.e. the pivot point area and the heel section as well. But the traction does its job. It doesn't give you that nice squeak or bite that you look for on a shoe. But when you play in the Harden Volume 2s, it's almost as if you don't know that the traction isn't as amazing as the rest of the shoe because it still does its job. When we're talking about playing outdoors in the volume two, long story short, you'll be okay, but just not for a very long time. As Flo mentioned earlier, the grooves are very, very shallow, which means they'll get to nothing pretty quickly, especially when we're talking concretes and, and black tops. So yeah, especially in this colorway, which is a solid rubber. I haven't seen any with a, with a translucent, but right now you'll be okay. Just not for a very long time. With that being said, I think the traction is a 7 out of 10. Yeah. What do you think, bro? I completely agree. I think you said it's about having that squeak or that bite. Yeah. And I think that's where the 8s and the 9s are. But yeah. it does the job, so it's a strong 7, for yeah. sure. Well-deserved 7. But yeah, that's where it's at. Lovely. The fit of the Harden Volume 2s, probably my least favourite aspect of the shoe. I'll get into that in a second. But the inner sock-like booty um, that the shoe gives us is beautiful. That with the lacing system, it really locks your foot down no matter how narrow or wide your foot is you can actually interchange and switch it all up so that's very very good 
but the reason why I wasn't a fan of the fit of the shoe it comes from this elastic band that separates the forefoot from the back of the shoe. It's a one size fit all elastic band mm. pretty much. Um, it's very tight, super super tight and almost to the point where it pinches and makes it feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I felt that. But that's only from your initial wears. Once the shoe breaks in a little bit, it becomes almost unnoticeable. Yeah. But it's still a little bit annoying and kind of upset me because it was hurting. Yeah. Ow. That's that's what I thought in my head. So the fit of the volume two is definitely weird because of how we just mentioned of how good the support and the materials are. So those hand in hand would normally make a great fitting shoe. Yeah. But it looks like it may have done a little bit of the opposite by having so much on it. Yeah. And so including that elastic band, which pinches when you're kind of not running around on the court, but as soon as you're on the fast break or um, handling the ball, you no, you really don't feel it, you really don't notice it, but only once you slow down do you notice that pinching, but again, only on that initial, so not terrible, but yeah. not fantastic either. Not, 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 not a screamer, not a screamer at all. I actually is a screamer because I wanted to scream because it hurt my foot <laughs> quite a lot, to be honest with you. Don't know about you. So with that being said, we will give the fit of a shoe a six out of 10. Six. 6 out of 10. The inner booty stuff was very nice, but just this elastic band kind of let it down a little bit. But yeah, 6 out of 10 strong. So after looking at each aspect of the shoe, our overall thoughts of the Harden Volume 2 comes in at 7.7, .7, which isn't bad whatsoever really. I think that's very strong. It's pretty strong. Yeah. It's pretty strong. Yeah. The cushioning of the shoe was next level. The materials and the support of the shoe were very nice as well. And the traction wasn't that bad either. The only thing that let the shoe down a little bit was the fit of the shoe, but overall, the Harden Volume 2 gets the job done. It's probably going to be my rotation, if I'm going to tell the truth. I agree. So, alright guys, that's it from us, but before we go, big shout out to Pro Direct Basketball for sending these bad boys through. If you're looking to pick up a pair of the Volume 2s, all you need to do is hit the link down below in the bio, and Pro Direct will take care of you from there. And of course, keep your eye out for Pro Direct because there's a bunch of colorways coming, and they're all looking quite tasty. Very, very tasty. Very tasty. So keep your eye out for Pro Direct. Make sure you hit that link down below to get your pair of Volume 2s as well. And as always, don't forget to like this video if you like this video and comment down below if you're feeling the Harden Volume 2s and if you'll be picking up a pair for yourself as well. And don't forget to follow your boys on Instagram at purekicks.ig and also on Twitter at purekicks underscore TW. And of course, as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because Pure Kicks has got a lot planned for you this year. So make sure you're up to date with the latest from performance reviews, to vlogs, to NBA talks, and just general good stuff and good times, quite frankly. So that's it from us. This is Pure Kicks. This is the Harden Volume 2. Let's, Let's get, get it. it.